Right, so I'm gonna show you how you can write undetectable AI written SEO content that actually ranks on Google and I'm gonna show you the results of it in just three simple steps. I wanna go over what the content looks like, which is right here, this is all done with AI. I wanna go over how you can generate it. I wanna go over, of course, how people are using it to rank on Google. And I wanna go over as well on how to humanize AI generated content, both manually and automatically. Now to prove that this article right here, which is the one that I just screenshot right here, is not detected by AI. I just open a couple of random AI detectors and here you go, just pasted a, uh, an excerpt of the article. I just copied this and pasted it over there. And this is going out for 84% human generated content. This is going out for 10% probability of AI. And this is going out for 100% AI generated, uh, sorry, human generated content. Now, if you have any AI detectors you want me to test, let me know down in the comments and I'll test it as well. But by default, the content produced by our AI on a first go, again, all this with AI is very human-like. Now I'm gonna show you, of course, in this video, how you can humanize it manually and then automatically, but off the get-go, the articles you generate with this AI are all, or most of it, part of most of it human-like, so non-AI detected. Again, these articles have all featured images, a proper table of contents, which is interactive, by the way, you can click to go to the section. All of them have a, introduction section with in-article images, there's internal links, external links, in-article images, uh, quotes, bullets, tables, in, of course, all, also, sorry, in-article videos that are relevant to what the video is about. And on that note, none of these AI detectors can um, detect links, both internal and external, images, videos, bullets, tables, all that, that do play a big part in how human an article is. Because if you're adding images, maybe images, pictures you took, links to other blog posts of yours, links to opinion pieces, whether that's internal or external, as you see here, right, all the links here, right, this is also a way in which you can humanize the content. Because the humanization of AI content isn't solely about what you write and how you write it. It's also about the things, the little, things you put inside of the articles. For example, if I'm writing an article about my garden, if I put an image of a picture I took of my garden and I speak about my experience, add a link maybe to somewhere else, this is a way in which you can humanize the content. So just know that these AI detectors, and any AI detector at the moment right now, doesn't take this into account, doesn't take the images, the videos, the links into account, okay? So this is how the content looks like, okay, that's done. Now I wanna go over super quick how to generate it. Just go to tryjournalist.com, click articles right here, and this is the tab where you give all of this input to the AI, this is the input, and of course the better the input, the better the output. This is what you give to the AI, and then once you're ready, you click generate article, and it generates the article. Super quick, how does this work? You just select how many articles you want, let's do 300. You select if you want videos or not, you can automate this or not. You select if you want images, I mean, you can play around with this, you can do AI images, you can do Bing images, stock photos, even your own custom images. I won't dive to the bit of this, but if you wanna use AI-based images, you can add a prompt right here. You can set up external linking, internal linking, all this automated. So for example, if you have an article about finance, right, and you talk about the stock pickings, we are gonna add links to your article and we're automatically gonna link out to trustworthy sources in your niche. So for example, Bloomberg, TechCrunch, maybe Wikipedia, maybe Investopedia. Same thing for internal links. We're gonna add links automatically inside your article to other blog posts of yours, maybe to your homepage, maybe even to your products pages or I don't know, other pages on your site, maybe your contacts page. Again, all this then automatically and of course relevant. All the things you see here, all the videos, all the links, this is not just done randomly. This is all done taking into account the context of the article and also the context of the pages we link out to. Then you can play around with it. You can even add a call to action, select the article length, manually put in the headings or not if you want, change and add all these sections, even connect this to the web, even add a knowledge base so that the content produces its own brand and it's actually valuable. Uh, speaking of content, you can produce content in over 150 different languages. You can select, the, select the target country, sorry, you can play around with the creativity levels, change the tone of voice, change the point of view, change the formality, even add custom instructions, right? And you can generate content based off of titles, keywords, or descriptions, or a keyword monitor if you want to, but I won't dive too deep into this. This is how you generate the content. If you want an in-depth video going over every single one of these tabs and how to actually generate, I'm gonna leave one in the description. It, it's a bit long, but it goes over exactly every single one of these steps right here, which is quite valuable. Now, I wanna go over people actually using this to rank, using AI content and specific content generated with journalist AI. So if I go here to the homepage of the site and to case studies, and we have a bunch more, we just haven't added them here. 
I'm gonna go over, there's three ones right here. This is the one where a guy with a personal brand used AI to grow his personal brand. This guy right here leveraged uh, the nightlife niche and produced AI content for the nightlife niche, nightlife, nightlife niche sorry, to make upwards of $10,000 a month in just three months. And we have all the receipts here. We have all the screenshots. I'm gonna show you right here. Even SEM Rush commented on his LinkedIn post because this guy, Luca, posted these results on LinkedIn. And they were so impressive that of course, even SEM Rush commented impressive results. And we have all the breakdown here if you wanna watch even a video going over exactly how I did it, what I did it, and why I did it. But I wanna go over this one right here, which is Rova. They're a fintech company, essentially like uh, TransferWise or Revolut, if you heard of them. They're essentially a bank. They just bought a bank two months ago for 35 million euros, and they are planning to hire over 100 people by the end of the year. So they're a multi seven eight eight-figure business, right? And they're leveraging AI, and I can, I'll leave this link down in the description, to grow their site. All this, right, all this growth was done with AI. And don't just look at the number, look at the growth rate since October through December, right? Super, super fast. And the organic keyword rankings, they ranked for a bunch of keywords, buying 10 keywords. But again, I'll go over, I won't go over this, I don't, don't want to bore you, but um, I'll leave this link down below in the description too, so you can check exactly what they did, how they, how they did it, sorry. And there's even a video down here. I think it's a four minute video going over what they did exactly and how you can replicate it too. So these are people getting results. And I want to go over now how you can humanize AI generated content manually. Now, if you're using Journalist AI, go here to my dashboard again, and let's just go to this article that I've generated about Golden Retrievers, open this up right here, and I'm gonna click this view right here, I'm gonna click this little icon right here, right? What this does is it's gonna open this in an editor. I click Create Revision, and now I'm revising the content, right? Now, as a human, I can bowl out some words. I can, if I want, maybe add a link here to whatever, right? I can, if I feel like this is too AI-ish, I can just remove this or and rephrase it somehow, right? I can, for example, remove this image and add another one. I can, if I don't like this link right here, I can remove it. I can add more text here if I want. So I can humanize the text. I have my human input into this, right? Now this is the manual way. If you want a step-by-step -step on how to humanize content, I do have a video on that. I won't bore you with that right now because I don't, I don't like to repeat myself, but I have a video on that and I'll, which, I'll, which I've recorded and I'll put it down below in the description or going over step-by-step -step how to do it. But it's essentially this, right? Adding a human touch to your articles where you as a human feel like Maybe this is too AI-ish. Maybe this isn't the way that you'd write it. Maybe this isn't the way that a human talking about, in this case, this specific niche would write it. Maybe you feel like the AI that wrote this isn't really in touch with the reality of, for example, owning a dog or knowing what the best thing is for a kid. Maybe you as a human that maybe you have a kid know more in specific what the best dog for a kid, right? For a specific case, right? sort of an opinion where the AI cannot really give an opinion because it's not a real thing. But you, as someone who has a kid, can talk about this, write about this, or maybe you've, yeah, in, in, in a more personal or quote unquote human way, right? Now, if you wanna automate the whole process, we are going to add a feature, it isn't live yet. Maybe you're watching this video, a button right here and a so, so a, such a cool feature right here that's gonna allow you to select text and humanize it as you wish. It's gonna be super cool. You're gonna be able to interact with the article to humanize it however you want and essentially speak more or less with AI to humanize the content, okay? That's basically it. That's how you write undetectable AI SEO content, which is simply just by using Journal AI and the raw, I guess, output off of the tool is basically undetectable by AI because it is quality content that according to these three tools, I mean, you, you guys, if you want me to test out more tools, let me know down below in the comments. But according to this one, it is, only 10% AI, according to this one, is 100% human. And according to this one, is it is 84% sorry, human generated. So yeah, that's basically it. I'll leave a link down below in the description for this so you can try it out. If you wanna try it out and if you want a discount, if you wanna buy it, just go open here, open this little bubble. Say you came from this video and asked for a 10% discount and we'll give you a coupon for 10% discount on any plan, okay? That's it, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.